Hello my lovely YouTubers. So this is a request video, um, tips and tricks on how to stay thin in college. So just before I start off, I am filming on a camera and not on my MacBook. So if you guys could comment below and let me know which one you like better, if you like it better when I film on my MacBook or when I film like this. So this video I'm pretty much just going to be talking about what I personally do to stay thin. Um, do I think I'm the thinnest, most in shape person in the world? Not at all. But I did avoid gaining the freshman 15 and I am a sophomore now and I've pretty much stayed um, at the same weight. I've actually fluctuated a little bit, lost a little bit, gained a little bit. Um, but I pretty much stay around the same weight and that is due to both exercise as well as eating healthy. Um, I like to eat uh, just like everyone else, I love pasta, I love pizza, um, I love chocolate, I'm such a chocoholic. But obviously, eating that stuff every day is not good for you. So I try my best, just like everyone else, to make healthy decisions. So this video is just going to be some of my tips and tricks, some things that I do to stay healthy and stay, um, stay on the thinner side in college. So my first tip is drink, 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 drink. And I know what you guys are thinking, you're thinking it's college, like we're going to drink, we're going to drink beer, we're going to drink vodka, we're going to drink Jaeger. And that's all well and good and that's super fun, but you guys don't realize how much, how many calories is in alcohol. Um, I, I don't know off the top of my head, but this, I'm going to post it right here, this is how many calories right here is in one shot of vodka. It's a lot. It's a lot of calories. It's more than you think, and you can't really buy diet vodka. So if you're if you gained a lot of weight in college and you're not really sure where it came from, it's probably from the alcohol. So if you lessen the alcohol or you make better decisions um, when you're drinking alcohol, for instance, drink a lower calorie beer or drink clear liquids instead of drinking, um, you know, colored liquids. Um, however, if you are under the age of 21, try and avoid drinking. But that's just one tip. You gain a lot of weight, you don't know what it's from. It's probably from drinking. So when I say drinking, drink, 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 I mean drink water. When you go to most commons or most um, cafeterias, a lot of the times there's a bunch of different op options. You can get Sprite, you can get Coke, you can get Diet Coke, you can get all different kinds of juices, and trust me, juice has a lot of sugar in it. So if you're drinking, you know, lemonade every night and you're thinking, oh, it's lemonade, or oh, I'm drinking cranberry juice, that's really good for me. Yes, it's good for you, but uh, that's, that's where a lot of calories and a lot of sugar come in, so I recommend drinking water. And drinking water throughout the day as well will help you avoid snacking, because a lot of the time when you snack, it's because your body's telling you you're dehydrated hydrated. So I recommend drinking as much water as possible. Find a cute water bottle. Most of them are really cheap. You can buy them anywhere from Walmart to the dollar store. This one is just a cute little one. I got a Victoria's Secret. Um, I actually won it as part of like a, a prize package, but I believe they're probably like five to fifteen dollars. And it just has cute little motivational sayings on the side. So it says, um, have a sip, aren't you thirsty, keep hydrated, good for you, drink up baby, mission accomplished. And see, this is a 32 ounce water bottle. And um, there's just some lemons floating around in there. I really, really like flavored water. Um, but obviously, a lot of flavored water has artificial sweeteners in it. So I try to avoid buying it. And it's more you know, friendly to the earth, obviously, to to re have a reusable water bottle. I also have a Brita that's in my fridge that I keep in my fridge and I refill every morning and I drink it from it throughout the day. So I recommend having a cute water bottle you can carry around, you, know, you can get two to match every outfit. I also do that with coffee mugs. I also have reusable coffee mugs on campus. So that's just one tip, keep hydrated. Another tip is try not to skip meals, but if you need to skip meals, keep healthy options in your room. So instead of like ordering Chinese food, um, I always have cans of soup in my room. And this is the, just the Progresso Vegetable Classic Minestrone, which I love, and it's literally just all veggies. And most Progresso soups this big, this is a 19 ounce can, are 100 calories. It also has four grams of fiber, four grams of protein, and only three grams of sugar. So this is a good, um, healthy alternative if I didn't have time for lunch or if I don't have time for dinner. 
I'll have one of these even if it's like really really late let's say I ate dinner at 5 I ate really early that day and I'm up late doing homework and it's midnight I don't feel bad about having you know a can of soup rather than you know ordering Domino's so keep soup and you can keep this for a long time so keep this in your dorm another thing that I do which is free um, my commons my comments I don't a lot of just yeah, a lot of universities call them different things, but when I say commons, I mean uh, my cafeteria, essentially. So my commons, we have fruit that's like readily available to students. You can just kind of like grab one and put it in your bag. And I always grab one, even if I don't think I'm going to eat it, I always um, grab apples because they can, they keep well. You, know, you don't really get fruit flies from apples, and I normally eat them all anyways. Um, I try to do bananas, but normally it's bananas and apples and sometimes oranges but I always have apples in my room I love Granny Smith apples these are great um, I eat as much fruit as I want I don't limit myself with fruit and yeah it does have sugar but it's natural sugar um, and I love I love fruit I'm a big fan and it's free so why not so when I'm studying I'll have an apple um, or when I'm off to the gym or coming back from the gym or before dinner when I'm super hungry and just got back from the gym I'll have an apple sometimes I'll have that with peanut butter and if you're really looking to lose weight, I would suggest going for like an all natural peanut butter um, or something like that. But, you know, this was just on sale. But it's not that bad. It's only 190 calories for two tablespoons. And I'll only probably use about two tablespoons for one apple. But again, really high in protein, some grams of protein. Protein and fiber will help you feel full so that you'll snack a little bit less. So if you're having a snack or you feel like snacking, I recommend doing high protein, high fiber snacks so that you snack a little bit less and you feel satisfied. Speaking of high fiber, one thing that I do do all the time is have a high fiber cereal in my dorm room. I actually really love fiber one and sometimes it's a little bit too, um, too bland for me. So I'll take just a little bit of sugar, like one packet of sugar, and sprinkle it on top of a bowl of cereal. Um, you can either get milk from your commons, you can buy it, or you can just like refill a water bottle or something with milk and keep it in your fridge. But um, keeping a high fiber cereal in your room is really good. Um, another thing about having snacks in your room is I don't, I don't tend to keep a lot of snacks in my room because if they're in my room, I'll eat them. So I figure if they're not here, then I won't eat them, and I have to wait until my next meal. Or if all I have is apples in my room then that's what I'm going to eat so when I do when I do want to snack and I have like cereal or I have um, I have this huge thing of pretzels um, and they, these are my favorite these are honey wheat pretzels and this is huge um, but instead of just opening the lid and eating a bunch um, I portion control so I have this cup and it's actually from one of the organizations on campus you're also gonna get a lot of free stuff when you go to college if you're not already there then just for warning you'll get a lot of free stuff if you're already in college you know what I mean there's lots of free stuff so this is just a large mug it's kind of like a cereal mug I use this for portion control so rather than sitting down with a huge bowl of something I'll take like a handful or two handfuls of these and I'll put it in this cup and then I'll put the lid on that and I won't touch it for the rest of the night I'll only have what's in this cup um, this is also great for when you have a sweet tooth and you want something sweet or you want something salty, something that's not so good for you. So for instance, I love cran raisins, I love goldfish, I love chocolate, I love Skittles, I love candy. So when I'm getting in the mood for candy, what I'll do is I'll just take a shot glass. Um, like this one, this one actually my best friend gave me from Cancun. I'll take take a shot glass and I will take the bag of candy or Skittles or M&M's or whatever and I will take the shot glass and I will do one scoop and I'll put it in this bowl and that's the amount that I'm allowed to have for the night. So I'll do like one, one shot glass of Skittles, one shot glass of cran raisins, one shot glass of, um, of M&M's and then maybe like a few goldfish and that's like my sweet tooth snack for the night. And, um, portion, like, you know, this is probably, like, one shot glass worth is probably the serving size. You have to double check on certain things. But I call this a serving size. I'm not an expert, but this is, like, one serving to me. So, well, that's what I do. The other thing they recommend when you're hungry or you feel like snacking is chewing on some sugar-free gum. This is just Eclipse, um, incredibly fresh breath, polar ice, naturally, natural germ killer, whatever. Sugar-free gum. So it says in the corner, sugar-free. And it's only five calories per piece. 
good alternative instead of snacking is to just chew on a piece of gum because sometimes your mouth just needs something to do. Um, another snack that I recommend is tuna. You can buy it in a pouch, you can buy it in a can. Um, it's great. You just crack it open, drain it in your sink. You can mix it with a little bit of mayo, a little bit of relish, things that keep great in your fridge and you can keep all semester because they don't really go bad for a while. Um, and just eat this with like some whole wheat crackers or just eat a plain. Again, protein and fiber keep you full so then you're not going to want to snack as much. So the main tips that I recommend um, for snacking and for staying thin in college is eat a lot of fruit. Make sure you eat the salads. When you go to um, when you go to your commons, you're going to get lots of food options. You're going to be so overwhelmed. There's going to be pizza. There's going to be pasta. There's going to be sandwiches. There's going to be burgers. Everything, anything you can imagine, is pro you're probably is probably going to be available to you. So keep in mind portion control. Keep in mind to eat your veggies. Um, keep in mind that when you load up your plate. Um, only about one-fourth of that or less is supposed to be like meat or carbs so keep that in mind um, when you're when you're making choices one thing that I like to do is I will eat a salad first before I eat anything else I'll sit down and eat a salad and just get it out of the way and then I'm not as full so then I don't want to eat as much and then I'll make better choices so make sure you're trying to make you know good choices these are my my tips portion control make good choices don't keep lots of junk food in your room don't even keep a Domino's menu in your room um, and try to keep healthier options so that you don't when you're tempted to snack you can you know keep it on the DL also things like granola bars I love um, fiber one fiber one oats and chocolate granola bars are my absolute favorite I also love the Kashi ones I think they're like TLC bars um, there's like a chocolate and cherry one that I really like and a mixed nut one that I really like um, things like that that are are lower in calorie and high in fiber are, are great things to snack on at night or in between classes or if you don't have a chance to get to breakfast rather than you know gorging out on a Domino's at 11 o'clock at night you can have a granola bar drink some water and be good to go so I hope this was helpful I hope you all enjoyed this video if you have any questions you know leave a comment because I'm gonna read it and I will respond um, so make sure you leave comments don't forget to rate and subscribe and I'll talk to y'all soon let me know if you enjoyed this video bye